There are only two returning All-Americans this year, Wisconsin's Ethan Happ and Notre Dame's Bonzi Colson. So are they the favorite for player of the year? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, they'll both certainly be in the All-America conversation again. Um, but lots of times National Player of the Year tends to uh, be a little more towards uh, the elite teams, the, the top teams. Um, so they will both probably be held back a little bit by that. Wisconsin's probably going to take a bit of a step back this year. Notre Dame's good. They'll be a top 15, top 20 team. But you're more likely, I'd say, that the top candidates are uh, more likely to be guys like Miles Bridges, um, a forward on Michigan State sophomore who surprised a lot of people, in, including his own coach, by returning. Um, and Alonzo Trier from Arizona, uh, who we have as the number one team. He's an elite scorer. He's going to be putting up a lot of big numbers on a, a top-level team. And then uh, Grayson Allen, who this time a year ago was considered the favorite for the award, had a pretty rough junior season, both uh, health-wise and he was suspended. Tripped himself had, up a little bit there. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good way of putting it. Um, and uh, this year, though, he's, he's, uh, he's the lone veteran surrounded by these five-star uh, precocious freshmen. And uh, it seems like he's primed to have a much better senior year than a junior year. And when you talk about those elite programs, they're generally bringing in big-time freshmen. Who's the freshman to watch this year? Marvin Bagley III, who surprised a lot of people in August by reclassifying. He had been the number one prospect in the 2018 class. Surprised in August, he decided to enter college. Uh, this fall, went to Duke. He's one of those long, very modern forwards who can step out and shoot, he can handle the ball, he can play the three and four spots, he's six foot ten. And then a similar guy who had been the number one player in the 2017 class is Michael Porter Jr., who is not going to one of those elite programs, he's going to Missouri, which hasn't won more than ten games in three years. His dad is on the coaching staff there, but uh, he's another one of those players, he's in the conversation for the number one pick next year, along with Bagley in the NBA draft, um, assuming they both enter, but he can shoot very well for a guy at his size and handle the ball well and, and he's uh, someone that I think people are going to find themselves watching Missouri to watch him.